You don't care for interest? Just want to see me fix it? You come to the right place. Welcome to Autofund Mina Sessions. The first step was to drain the transmission fluid by removing this plug using an 8mm hex bit. While the transmission fluid comes out, I moved over to remove both the passenger and driver side axles. Click on the link on the screen to see how I remove the axles. Also I placed a link on the description below. Moving to the top of the car, I removed the battery, battery tray and the intake. Next I removed the bushings for the shifter cables. The factory manual now states that you should remove the shifter cables by removing the clips that hold the cables onto the bracket. However, I find removing these clips quite challenging and annoying so I prefer to unbolt the bracket entirely from the transmission. After removing the two bolts that hold the bracket to the transmission, I move the cables out of the way. I then loosen the bolt for the turbocharger pipe. Now I loosen the bottom bolt for the turbocharger pipe. Finally there are two 13mm bolts holding the turbocharger pipe in place. With the bolts removed the supercharger pipe can now be removed out of place. Now it's time to remove the throttle body. There are two bolts that hold the bracket that hold the accelerator cable in place. With the bolts removed, the accelerator cable can be pulled out and the entire assembly can be pushed out of the way. Next, I disconnect all the pipes and electrical connectors that are going to the throttle body. I like to plug all these little guys, just to keep anything from falling inside of there. The throttle body can now be removed by removing the final two bolts. This bolt can now be removed entirely. The second portion of the throttle body can be pulled straight out. Moving down to the bottom of the car, the intermediate shaft has to be removed. There are two bolts holding it in place. With the two bolts removed, I carefully pull the intermediate shaft straight out to avoid damaging the seal in the transmission. Moving to the starter, the black connector can be removed by depressing and then pulling on it. The red connector is held by a 13mm nut. I then remove this bolt right here. I then remove this bolt and I loosen the top one on the manifold. The starter can now carefully be pulled out. The lateral bending brace must now be removed. It is held in place by four 15mm bolts and one 18mm bolt. Once all the bolts are removed, the lateral bending brace can be pulled out. The structural collar must now be removed. It is held in place by one 18mm bolt and two 15mm bolts.
Next, I disconnect the backup lamp switch. Next, I remove the bolt for the bracket that holds the sleeve cylinder line in place. Next, it's time to remove the slave cylinder. To make it easier to show this step, I film this with the transmission off the car. First, you lift on the white tab and then I turn the slave cylinder until it releases from the case. Then, it's just a matter of pulling it straight out. I now support the transmission using a transmission jack. In addition, I placed another jack underneath the engine using a wooden block to spread the weight over the oil pan to avoid breaking it. I then remove this plug on the driver's side well and prepare to remove the bolt that holds the transmission mount. With the bolt removed, I can now access the bolts that hold the transmission mount to the transmission. Now that the transmission mount is free, I have carefully pulled it out of the way. There are now only three bolts holding the transmission to the engine. Two are on the top and one is in the bottom next to the speed sensor. After removing this last bolt, I also unplug the speed sensor connector. With the bolts removed, the transmission can now be separated from the engine. After making sure that the transmission has clear all lines and electrical cables, I lower the transmission all the way down. Before reinstalling the transmission back in place, I have inspected the clutch components to make sure that nothing is worn out or needs to be replaced. In this case, I have installed brand new hardware on the clutch fork. I also like to lubricate all the surfaces that will be contacting metal to metal, such as the back of the throwout bearing and the two surfaces on the fork that the throwout bearing will be riding on. Finally, I apply some lube on the area for the pivot ball. On the transmission itself, there are two areas where I like to apply additional lubrication. One is the pivot ball, and the other one is the sleeve that the throwout bearing will be riding on. Now it's time to reinstall the fork into the pivot ball. I simply push the fork into the pivot ball until it pops back into place. I then pull on the fork to confirm that it has been secured by the pivot ball. Reinstalling the transmission is simply the reversal of the removal procedure. The transmission mount has only one correct orientation.
After placing the starter back in its position, I secure it with the first bolt. I then torque the bottom bolt and re-tighten the top one. While I'm down here, I'm gonna reconnect the black plug and the positive lead, which is contained within the red housing. Then it's just a matter of reinstalling the 13mm nut and torquing to spec. I installed a brand new o-ring for this portion of the throttle body and in addition I have lubricated the outside and the inside of the throttle body for it to go in smoothly. I'm also installing a brand new gasket for the front section of the throttle body. With the throttle body installed, I can now reinstall the intercooler to throttle body hose. Now it's just a matter of reconnecting all the vacuum lines that I previously unplugged. I also replug all the connectors that I had unhooked in the beginning. Lastly, I connect the backup lamp switch connector. After reinstalling the turbocharger pipe, I can now tighten the top bolt, followed by the lower two bolts. Now it's time to reinstall both axles. See the link on the description below to see the full video I made on axle installation. To wrap this up, I fill the transmission with my favorite oil type, reinstall my intake and battery. The job is not complete. Time to take this baby out for a test drive. More SRT4 videos coming up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and thanks for watching.